Boo. Hey, right, what's up, guys? Real quick, just want to throw this in the middle of the review I'm putting out. Um, you get a little view of my man cave. Yeah, that's how we do it. Um, that's actually not what this video is about, though. It is about the Stingray, which, look at that patina job. It looks fantastic right now. It looks really, really good. Really, really good. Um, but yeah. So, a subscriber posted that I should take the Nemesis switch and put it on my Stingray and that it should fit. And sure enough, he is correct. So, um, what you're seeing there is the Nemesis switch on my Stingray. No issues. I don't even have to lock it because I have strong enough magnets in there. I just wanted to say thank you. Good call out on that. And, uh, till next time, back to the review. Peace. YouTube, what's going on guys? Lego PC here. You don't see my face because I got zoomed in so you guys can check out some juices I'm doing right now. Um, I said I was going to do this for a really long time and I'm finally going to bring it to you. Um, I've got one of them on my new APO clone, which will also have a review coming up soon. On the Pegasus, which will also have a review coming up soon. So, uh, stay tuned for those. But what today's talk is going to be about, hang on, I'm going to take a tote. is going to be on Cloud9 Vapor. Uh, this is the company you've heard me talk about about a million times. Uh, they also sent me out the Hammer Mod, which if you saw my vape mail video, um, is when I debuted it. So I was lucky enough to win a lot of juices. I have tried, uh, I believe, every juice other than their Simple line. So all their signature flavors plus their um, research and development flavors, I've tried all of them. So. Uh, real quick, I'm going to run you through everything I have currently in the moment, what I think about them, where you can get them, and how much they cost. So um, I've got my handy phone right here. We're going to go to them. Um, it is vapingcloud9.com, and I'm going to show you what their website looks like. Look at that. It's pre-saved into my phone. I shop here too often. Uh, right off the bat, I can tell you. Ooh, they're doing 30% off July 11th. Look at that. Why aren't you guys shopping there yet? What are you thinking? Uh, let's see. Shops. And they have a signature and a simple line. Okay. Scoot that over. Uh, signature and a simple line. And under their signature, you're going to see... When it loads... Come on, Wi-Fi. Um, you can scroll through. Hopefully we can get a decent view of that. And you're going to see all their different flavors here. Um, their most popular one, by my guess, would be Tropical Storm, which is basically a Baja Blast flavor, which we have right here. Um, on top of that, their prices are very reasonable. 15 milliliters is $7.99. Uh, when you bump it up to, I believe it's 30 milliliters, I want to say it is... 30 milliliter, let's see what it bumps up to. $14.99. So um, if you go 30 milliliters, it's $14.99. Not bad at all. Obviously not as cheap as Mountain Baker Vapor, but a lot cheaper than the art, uh, special artesian liquid. Artesian? Artisan? Artisan? Artisan's the word I'm looking for. Um, yeah, so uh, I've tried almost all of their premium juices here. Um, the one I haven't tried, you know what, I have tried them all. It's their R&D uh, blends, I have not tried all of them. Um, so this is going to be an honest review. I know they've given me a bunch of free stuff, a bunch of shoutouts and whatnot. I'm just going to be blatantly honest with you as much as I can though. Um, what I am vaping right now is Tropical Storm. It is in my APO. Um, and let's take a vape real quick. Ooh, nice cool. Uh, this is a, only a .44, so it's very cool. And on top of that, I got the air holes pretty much wide open. Um, stay. Stay. All right. Uh, so we'll talk about tro Tropical Storm first. Uh, the first thing on their packaging, um, all these are 6 milligrams or 12 milligrams. Uh, the reason it's a mix is because I just dropped Nick. 
So, so my older stuff is 12, all my new stuff is 6. So um, these three are new and these two are older. Uh, I've been vaping this and Bombies exclusively for a while now, other than whatever I get from Craft Vapor or Zotus. Uh, Zot also, a Zotus review is coming up, guys. I'm sorry, it's a long queue. I've been busy, I'm getting married soon, and been very, very busy with stuff going on. So I apologize. Um, I'm going to go through the ones I'm not a huge fan of, and then we'll end with the ones that are strongest. Let's do it like that. Um, what I'm going to do is talk about Utopia first. Um, I don't have all the flavor profiles. Let me actually bring it up for you and then I can actually read it off from their website. That would actually be kind of nice, huh? Let's do research and development because I believe Utopia is under that. And they sure, it sure is. There it is. Okay. So it's Leche and Pear Blend with Dragon Fruit and Sweet Cream. Now this was sent to me as a free sample. I did not purchase this. Uh, it came through with the other purchases. Um, I will say it was my first lychee and pear blend with dragon fruit. I'm not even sure what the hell that's supposed to taste like. Uh, I don't know what they vape like. Personally, it was not very good to me. Um, it was okay. Nothing I'd vape all day. Um, I wasn't a big fan, just to be honest with you. That's why it's half vaped. The other half is not probably going to get vaped. Um, this is in their R&D, and I wasn't a huge fan of it, just to be honest. Um, the next one is Carm Apple. And Karma Apple is just basically what it says. It's caramel and it's apple. Uh, you've heard me talk about this. Again, these are well labeled on here. They tell you your nick, Cloud9 Vapor. It warns you about nicotine. It tells you the ingredients. Keep away from um, from children and pets, 18 plus and over. Um, all available right here on this packaging. Well done. And it's been here for about two months, so the, the tape's not ripping off or anything like that. Uh, child. Safety locks, you gotta press down to get that guy open. Uh, nice little dripper, it's easily squeezable into your RDAs, so no complaints on that. Caramel apple is exactly what it says, caramel and apple. Um, I had the Mount Baker Vapor Caramel Apple and I've had uh, another one, I wanna say it was Gremlin or something. Uh, caramel apple, there's not really else to describe it, it's caramel and it's apple. That's really all there is to it. Um, that's that one. This one has, slowly become a very good one to me and I did talk about this in the last video and this is called Sunday morning and it seems to be one of their popular flavors um, it's it's got like a champagne taste oh I did forget a bottle now that I realize it um, it's got like a champagne taste to it let me see what they actually describe it as let's go back here I don't want to go to that fast tech right now why did you take me to fast tech yeah, I'm obsessed with it. I check it every day. What's your point? Big deal. Want to fight about it? Alright, let's see. What's their description? Do, 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 do. I'm sorry, guys. I probably should have brought in my laptop, but the thing's battery is about dead, so can't really keep it away from the plug for too long. This is just a good time for a coffee break. So, Sunday morning has a mild sweetness from cantaloupe and luscious juicy peach balanced with cloying tartness of strawberries and a stimulating splash of champagne. Three to five days steep time recommended. Uh, Sunday morning has been one of those vapes where I'll have it in the morning or have it in the evening, but I can't all day vape it. Uh, it's got a good taste to it. Um, I wouldn't say you can taste the cantaloupe much at all. I would say the strawberries and champagne and then the peach aftertaste. Um, but overall, if you like any type of fruity vapes, um, this is a pretty solid one. Uh, it's not super sweet at all. I thought it was going to be really sweet. It's actually not. So um, that one has been okay. I use it on a day, usually a, at least once a week, um, a couple times a day, or a couple times a week. So um, The one I'm missing right now is Cloud9, and that has slowly become probably my favorite one of my favorites and Cloud9 looks like that it's in a brown bottle it is Cloud9 is a treat after a long and laborious day fill the room in your senses with a caramelized vanilla and an abundant silky clouds of marshmallow followed by a decadent butterscotch and topped with a minty kiss creme de menthe um, good right away but shines after five to six days I would agree with that wholeheartedly let it steep for about a week or two um, 
Now I don't get all these flavors. The marshmallow is probably the cream I'm getting because it is a thicker juice. But overall, the vanilla and the creme de menthe is awesome. It's basically like you get a very, very good sense of vanilla as it comes in. And then as it exhales, you get that Bombay's mint coming out from a real nightmare. Excuse me, I don't know what the hell I'm burping up. Coffee, apparently. Um, and I'm not saying burp life. I am not a copier and I'm not going to do that shit. It's stupid. Um, the cream, the mints, good stuff. Uh, I really like that one and has become mostly an all-day vape for me. The only issue right now is it's in my Quasar, um, which if you've seen an old video about, it's a pain in the ass to take the top cap off, so I haven't played with it. Okay, so my three favorites are what I'm going to talk about. Um, probably Pink Cloud would be number three. Pink Cloud is one of the ones I chose to get the 30 milliliter in. And Pink Cloud is described as, oh, I take the, I haven't tried Curious Tea. I have no interest in tea. What is everyone's favorite Starburst? The pink ones. The e this e-juice is a liquid, liquid pink Starburst candy full of strawberries and chewy vanilla sweetness. Good right away, but gets more creamy after five days. This thing is awesome. I don't know if I would say it tastes like a pink Starburst. I wouldn't go that far, but it's actually very, very good. Um, really, really enjoyed it. Uh, this was an all-day vape, literally all day. Um, out of my canna and the magma and really really enjoyed it um, this thing hits really good especially at like a cooler vape I'd say probably around like 20 watts I was hitting it at it was really really solid um, again if you like fruity vapes which a lot of these really are another solid one can't complain nothing but good things in this one the second favorite one happens to be in one of their R&D's that I got for free again and this one's called Midsummer's Nectar and I really enjoyed Midsummer's Nectar it's really really fruity and what's funny is I normally don't like those type of fruits now this is part of their R&D line which I thought was really cool and I'm bringing it up they have a new one called Bourbon Smash I'm pumped about trying that one um, okay so I was instantly scared and here's why the description is sweet summer pears, strawberries, and nectarine paired, to, paired to, uh, together for this delightful summer vape. I don't like pear. I don't like eating pears. I don't like the smell of pears. I don't like anything to do with pears. And nectarines, I had never had a vape of nectarines. So I was eh, a little iffy on it. However, this thing came out fantastic. Um, the flavors on it are fantastic. It, the aroma is intoxicating. It's, it's so good. I just want to drink it. I'm just kidding, don't take any of that, I'm not drinking any liquid, it just smells really good, okay, kids, don't listen to me. Oh, it smells really good, it smells fantastic. Um, that one is my second favorite, I could vape this all day, every day, no problems. Um, this is a steal at $7.99 for 15 milliliters. Uh, this is an R&D one, so I hope to God they keep this. This is really, really good stuff. As long as I keep this in Tropical Storm, I will continue to buy from them. Uh, this is very, very good. And which brings me on to my last one, which you can already tell I've dug into, it's missing some. Uh, Tropical Storm at 6 milligrams. Um, this guy is, I would assume, their most popular flavor because it's how I found out about them on uh, Reddit. Was somebody was looking for a Baja Blast, and sure enough, this one was listed. I'm going to grab the description for you real quick. Tropical Storm is a perfect blend of a refreshing, refreshing citrus soda with a tropical lime twist. The e-juice was made to taste like Mountain Dew's Baja Blast. Uh, steep times five to seven days. Well, sorry, I've only had this for, I think, four. So, guess what? You're getting it anyways. Um, now, I've had a lot of soda vapes, and I've had a lot of Mountain Dew vapes. Juicy V's, um, offhand I can think of, uh, Mountain Baker Vapor. Uh, there's a couple Juicy Dudes, I think it's called, or something like that. Dudes Vape. Um, the only issue with this guy is just like every soda vape I've ever had is it's a flatter soda, um, which is the only downside to it. You can tell by a flat soda uh, as soon as you taste it, you're like, eh, definitely flatter. However, the, the tropical citrus and everything comes through 100%. It tastes spot on. It's Mountain Dew. Easy all day vape. No issues. Um, if you like Baja Blast, you would like this flavor. It's easily one of the smoothest vapes I've ever had. Um, so nothing but uh, love for that one. Now they do have a couple of flavors on their simple line. I'm gonna run through them for you real quick. 
Oh, I'm sorry. They have one more on their signature line that I have not tried. Um, and I'll be honest with you, I've never tried a tea vape, but I'm not interested in it, to be honest with you. Uh, Curious Tea is a vape that's earthy green tea is balanced by sweet and slightly floral passion fruit with a smooth coconut exhale and a, tic a tickle of hibiscus tea. If you're into tea vapes, I know DB Li uh, Liquids makes a ton of them. Um, not my thing, but they do have that option out there. Um, I would assume they're probably pretty good. Their simple line is cheaper. I believe it's $5.99. Yeah, $5.99 for 15 milliliters. And their basic flavors: butterscotch, watermelon, cotton candy, salted caramel, and cantaloupe. Um, what's this show more? Is there more? Oh, Monster, uh, which is supposed to take like Monster Energy drink, obviously, and then Blackberry Mojito, which I have tried. Uh, very little on the blackberry, very high in the lime and the mint. Um, it was okay. I wouldn't say it's an all-day vape. It was actually just in my brass monkey, um, but pretty good stuff. I wonder if I do I have it over there? No, I don't have it over there. Okay, so no brass monkey. Sorry. Um, and then the Reese. Before my phone just kicked me out. Let's try this again. Their research and development is Utopia Midsummer's Nectar, which I talked about, and Bourbon Smash, which is their newest release, I believe. Um, I have not tried it yet. It is described as a ripe and juicy blood orange smashed into sweet Kentucky bourbon. I don't know about you, but that sounds freaking amazing to me. Um, so I'm pretty pumped about trying that one. Um, that'll be probably my next order. Jenna, keep that in mind. It's my next one. Um, bourbon Smash, baby. Uh, these guys... Uh, I, girls, I should say. It's uh, actually two girls, I believe, doing this. I don't know if there's anybody else involved. We've only talked a little bit on Twitter and whatnot and through email, so I don't know a ton. Um, I don't think they have any type of brick and mortar. What I do want to say is that they are local Illinois. So if you're in Illinois or in the Midwest, you will get this stuff fast. You order it next, usually if it's shipped that day, if you order it in the morning, you will get it the next day, uh, which is very cool. So not a lot of juice companies, I can say that in Chicago. Um, the other thing that's cool, other than the pricing, is they're really cool about responding to anything. You gotta to post to them. Talk to them on Twitter, uh, Facebook, they'll get to you right away. They do a lot of giveaways. Um, again, Vaping Cloud 9 for their Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. Um, what else? Local Illinois, that's really all I got for you guys. Um, I promised I'd do this review, it's finally done. Um, I actually would like to do a Bombies one because I have tried every flavor including that Blackout City which just came out, so we'll do a review for that soon. Um, yeah, I'm gonna finish up my coffee, vapes from Tropical Storm, and until then guys, this is LEGO PC out.